Okay, here's our new Mati electronic earth rod device. So obviously whilst installing, or if you actually install this, you don't need uh, to install any earth rods as long as you've got a three phase supply. So the unit itself, um, three 32 amp uh, RCBOs, um, the Mati open device and a five pole shunt trip. Um, 400 volt shunt trip because obviously if you've got no neutral it's not going to shunt it so uh, 3 L1, L2, L3 meters on each one 240 ish volts as you can see uh, three loads and up here this is actually measuring the uh, neutral to virtual neutral so you actually um, as I said installing an earth rod so I'm now actually going to switch the neutral off to simulate an open pen fault. Uh, nothing actually will happen with this because all the loadings are balanced. So, if I now unbalance the loads by switching off one of the lights, if you count to four seconds, you will actually see the shunt activate isolating everything on the outgoing so in line with BS7671 uh, we can't trip for four seconds and not after five so as you can see uh, everything's isolated there the meters are actually on the um, the income inside so as you can see on this one 309 volts 240 on that one and 193, 195 on L1. So uh, voltage is all over the place as you'd expect. Um, if I now deactivate the shunt mechanism, So I've switched everything back into normal as it would be. Uh, if I deactivate the neutral, four and a half seconds, he's actually gone into uh, safe mode again. And as you can see, your touch voltage between a neutral and would be earth. Uh, is actually at 115.6 volts. Uh, L3, 361 volts. 216 on L2 and 201 on L1. Take another phase out. Now you can actually see 418, 417 and 1.6. So again, voltages all over the place. Phase voltages are actually uh, exceptionally high, as you'd expect. Um, and I've now got 230 volt on your neutral to virtual earth terminal, or an earth rod if you were to install one of them. So there we go. Thanks.